Okay. It's a special thing for you. What's your favourite oh, snack in Disney? Oh, jalapeno poppers. Mm, actually. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Oh, that's really hot. <coughs> hot than jalapeno. I love that sizzling sound. I've just laid it out on the table. I'm going to give this dip a little go now. Hi there, welcome back to a new video. Um, today we're going to be having a date night. We're going to be doing a really cosy, it's that cosy time of year, isn't it? Where you wanna just snuggle down for the evening. It's a Friday evening, we've finished work for the day, locked the front door, we've walked the dog, we've done all the bits and pieces that we need to do. We wanna get a movie on. Some wheat. And yeah, we wanna have some really nice cosy food. So Snackies. tonight we're going to be making it's a special thing for you. What's your favourite oh, snack in Disney? Well, jalapeno poppers. We're not actually making the poppers, are we? But we're making the dip. We're making a so jalapeno cheese cheesy popper dip. Well, it's jalapeno popper dip. That's mm. what we're making. And we just bought these new plates as well. We love a picky tea. It's what we really love, don't we? Cheese yeah. crackers. And we just bought these plates in Waitrose. Yeah, fine Six China. pounds. They are. Um, cheese, chutney and crackers. Love those. They're really cute. They've got a whole range actually, haven't they? I have actually really Mugs nice. and... Yeah, some of it did look more Christmassy, didn't it? Yeah. there were some bigger sort of stars in the middle. Was this, although it might be a Christmas range, I think you'd probably get away with that, couldn't you? I think so. And I'm going to open up the bowls as well mm. for um, that we bought in Disney. I've just had my nails done as well. Uh, look, can you see them? They've, um, they've got like a little rose gold sparkle on the tips, so they look all nice, ready for like autumn into Christmas. I love this time of year, actually. I don't like the dark evenings, but I do like the cosiness of this yeah, time of year. Yeah, the cosiness is nice. So we haven't actually opened up these bowls yet. I'm wishing we'd picked up the little plates now as well. Really, we could so only cute. bring some. I know. Back. Oh, look how cute. How oh, nice. We know what goes nice in those. Cute what? Peanuts. I was actually thinking on the chutney, we've got this um, like grazing board here. So we've got a little dip in the side there for, uh, I thought chutney would go nice in that. And then, oh look, That's this nice. is so cute. It's the first time we're actually properly looking at these. That one's white. And then we've got this one as well. These are so nice. And obviously I will be keeping this in my scrapbooking, um, for my scrapbooking. I have jars um, on the windowsill, don't I? And I yeah. keep all the, the odds and ends all in color. So this will go with like whites and creams and they're all color coordinated. So they were going there. And that three set of bowls were 34.99 reduced down to 15.99. Um, I will give you those to wash up if that's okay, yep, please. Okay and I'm going to start making the jalapeno popper dip. So we're in our cozies already, like I said, and we're going to start making the, stop eating the cheese, the jalapeno popper dip. Um, I'll show you what I've got, and we're basically going to mix up all the ingredients together, and then we're going to have a little bit of the ingredients for the topping as well, pop it in the oven so it's nice and hot, because I love, and I think you're the same, the jalapenos that you get in Disney, when they're super, super hot, crispy on the outside, and then really soft and gooey and cheesy on the inside with a lovely warm kick. That's what we're after, isn't it? Yeah. Right, Aid's fiddling with the ingredients. So, the ingredients, we've got soft cheese, We've got sour cream. We've got jalapenos. I'll take, try that in a minute, thank you. Um, garlic granules, and then I've got cheddar, if there'll be any left. Um, I've also got some like Mexican-y type cheddar. Um, this is with chili, and I've got Parmesan as well. And I am going to combine all of this. You try that? I will try that in a second, thank you. Great, the cheese we're doing. Um, about three quarters of a cup of each cheese, um, this whole container of soft cheese, a cup of soured cream, I've got four ounces here of the jalapenos, and we're gonna do about um, half a teaspoon of garlic granules. I need to just wash in all the bits up. We're going to do a taste comparison, we're curious. We've just bought a big jar of Lidl own um, jalapenos. 
it's very exciting today. We found we've got a brand new Lidl opened near us. It's shiny, it's bright lights. We isn't have got it? Lidl's near us, but this was a but brand this new one's one. New. Right, are you ready for a really exciting taste challenge? Which one are you going to go for? We, go for well, the... we haven't explained what we're doing. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Right, so we bought some Lidl own jalapenos today. We found, we were, we were going to Donnell's and we found a brand new Lidl open near us and we got really excited. We popped in and um, it was shiny, it was bright, it was beautiful, wasn't it? So nicely laid out. Picked up some jalapenos because we literally just have those left. Oh, Morrison's, Morrison's own. Morrison's ones, just Morrison's. Um, fancy. So we're gonna do a taste test and see which ones are best. That one. We'll have that one. You can have that one. So we're eating Lidl first. These look a bit floppier. Mmm, actually. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Oh, that's yeah, really hot. <coughs> hot than jalapeno. Ah! Oh. They're hotter than I would expect jalapenos to be. I expect them to be floppy, but they still had a crunch. They've the colour in comparison. You can't really see on there. They're not as good colour. They are hot. They're the hottest yeah. jalapenos I've yeah. had. These are Morrison's own. Mm. That's everything I want from a jalapeno. A bit of spice, a bit of warmth. It's nice, but it doesn't make you need a drink. Those let alone are really no, hot. Real. I'm sure we've had these before. No, definitely the Morrisons would be my choice. I'm glad we've got those in this. If you like really, really spicy, hot, I would recommend the Lidl. The Morrisons ones are really nice. Yeah, I haven't got quite enough of those. Mm. They're nice, aren't they? They've got the flavour with them. Mm. Mm. Right, anyway, I'm grating the cheese and I'm mixing everything else. So what are you putting in now? Um, this is the sour cream. It's supposed to be about a cup. I'm just kind of guessing, to be honest. You didn't really measure anything, do you? No. And we've got grated cheese there, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, that Mexican cheese. That is so nice. That is so nice. Was it just normal Mexican or was it Mexican chili? No, it was chili cheddar. Ah. Put... Oh, imagine making a cheese and onion sandwich with that. Oh my goodness, that would be so nice. She looks a bit like a cheese and onion sandwich mix. It does, I agree. Oh, oh, oh I didn't realise there was water in there. Oh no, there's just drained off. Oh. Do you want me to drain them? That's fine. I've just whisked that bowl up. That's so nice. <laughs> this on its own would be an amazing dip, wouldn't it? Mm. Do we need to put it in the oven? Do we need to? No, I let's like, do it hot. I like the cold dips. Do you? Do you not want it hot? Mm. What are we did in? Bread. This is so nice. What do you fancy dipping? What do you, what do you I'd do? Like, I want to dip. Let's have it hot. Okay. This is it going to be melty though or not? Is it going to be... No, I think we need to try this hot the first time. But I would seriously eat this as a cold dip as well. Mm. You know like you have Doritos enough. or things mm. like that? Oh, oh, the it, spice to it as well. It There's really, real... really does remind me of, like you say, a cheese and onion. Sandwich mix. Yeah, even though there's no onion in it, yeah. That's so tasty. You know, it's even just the mix of, I think, maybe the juices from the jalapeno. Mmm, I love this. Or you do half and half. So I've just mixed, so I've just mixed that up with the hand blender. And I'm going to pop this in an oven dish. The oven is on 180. It's grating up some more cheese. Again, about three quarters of a cup full. Um, we're going to do cheddar and parmesan. And I've got a slice of wholemeal bread, but any bread will do. I'm going to whiz this down into breadcrumbs, mix it with the cheese, and then pop it on the top of the cheesy dip. We've decided to do a compromise. We're going to have half hot and half cold. And then I'm just going to mix up the breadcrumbs and the cheese. And then we're going to pop this on top to make our cheesy, crispy topping. I am going to add a few more jalapenos as well. I'll pop those on top just for a little extra kick when you scoop it all up with the bread. This is going to be so delicious. And there it is, all ready to go in the oven. That goes in for 15 minutes. 
And set the Mickey timer for 15 minutes and that gives us time to make everything else for the charcuterie board in the meantime. I want a few little picky bits. So I've got this mix here from Waitrose. It's almond, cashew and berry mix. It's a really, really lovely mix. Um, it just all complements each other so, so well. So we're going to have a few of those. And the exciting thing that we're using, we've got these little silicone cupcake molds that we've never used before. And we thought they would be perfect for having little picky bits on the board. When it comes to salami, I highly recommend the German salami in Lidl. It's the best salami, um, just like we used to have when we lived in Germany. It's really, really good. We've also got Black Forest Ham, also known as Schinken, which is lovely. Also, what we used to eat a lot of in Germany. It reminds me of my Oma, my great grandma, um, and my aunts. Whenever we used to go over at either breakfast time, if we were staying over, or tea time, a whole table would just be filled of meats like this, salamis. Um, cheese and breads. Oh, it was all so delicious and they would pile so much onto bread when they ate it. We've also chosen this cheese here, Black Sticks Blue from Waitrose, which is a really lovely tangy cheese. And you really wanted Santa Girl, didn't you? But we couldn't get any. So we've ended up with Danish Blue, which is also a blue cheese that we absolutely love. We've got some chorizo, we've got some pate, and I'm also just putting together one of our favorite little party tastings, which is pineapple on cheese sticks. Just taking this out of the oven. I love that sizzling sound and it smells so good. And the last component to go to our charcuterie board is the fig and balsamic chutney that our daughter made for us. Are we adding any other chutneys as well? Um, no, I think we're still with that one. Yeah, but just do this one. Yeah. And here we have our charcuterie board for two. We've got our chutney there. We've got pineapple on cheese. Would that be a big no for you? Let us know. We've got salami. We've got the... Um, bluey cheeses there, we've got some little cheesy biscuits, we've got grapes, we've got cheddar, we've got some beer nuts and I've split the cheese up so we can like have a piece each or a couple of pieces each. We've got the berry and cashew and almond mix, we've got the German schinken, we've got some of the um, chili cheese, we've got chorizo and we've got pate as well and we've got bread and this all looks absolutely delicious and we've just laid it out on the table and we're going to give this dip a little go now should we try the dip at the same time yeah go on then try a bit of bread yeah dip off. it's nice and crunchy on the top which i like which yeah. is the bread coating there we go yeah mmm mmm I love that bread topping. Yeah. Mm, that crunchy, is yeah. so delicious. It really does taste like jalapeno poppers. Also, I didn't get any actually whole jalapenos on my bit, mm -hmm. but it's really, mm. it's got that jalapeno taste to it. Right, grab one, grab one with the jalapenos this time. Did you get one? I've got Big one, but I didn't get any cheese. That's so tasty. <coughs> Um, it's actually been very out, tasty. It's actually been out in the oven for a little while as well. Should we have another one? Because um, we've here. still been doing bits and pieces, and it's actually it's gone past the bubbling stage, mm. so it's not hot that it's going to burn your mouth. Do you agree? And actually, mm. I think this temperature is nicer than when it's scalding. I think something with the cheese. I'm not sure whether I maybe put a bit less. Well, sour, that's a good one. For you. Maybe a little bit less sour cream next time. Oh really? No, if I it think needs it's to perfect. be more stringy cheesy, do you think? Well, if that's not? the case, you'd want mozzarella. No? Mm. Mm. There is nothing I would change about this. No, that it, it, it is lovely. No, it actually is. The cheesiness of it is just about right, I yeah. think, actually. I wouldn't want the stringy cheese. I like it like this. This is definitely going on the list for when we have our friends over for dinner next mm. time. That is so good. I highly, highly recommend this. Um, if they're friends that we really like, mm. Morrison's jalapenos, mm. ones that we want to play a trick on, 
Little. Little. <laughs> um, we Sorry. will add the recipe in our blog as well, won't we? Mm. Our Aidan Lisa do Disney blog. It's mm. a, we've had the blog set up for years actually, haven't we? We haven't actually used it. So we're going to pop it That's in there. so nice. I'm going to. Do you want a pineapple stick oh, as well? Then, yeah. Let us know, are you... It's very 1970s, isn't it? Oh, I've just dropped a grape on the floor. I better get that out of the way of the dog. Oh, she's on her bed again now. Yeah. Um, would you eat pineapple and cheese together? Or would it be, or would it be cheese and onion? Mm. Actually nice. This is such a perfect date night. We're going to go and eat this. We're going to find a movie, mm. aren't we? Yeah, that may be a struggle. But thank you for what, um, watching. Thank you for joining in with us today. We hope you've enjoyed this. We really, really urge you, if you love jalapeno poppers or any kind of like cheesiness, jalapenos, give this a go. It's a winner, isn't it? Definitely. I mean, it's not, it's not jalapeno poppers, but the dip, oh, it's so nice. I can actually imagine, I know we've got bread with this, so I can imagine even scooping like Doritos or things like that. Now, actually, before we finish, hot or cold, what do you prefer? Oh, two completely different things. Hot, I love hot. Definitely with the bread. And it's that kind of warmth and the, the cheesiness. Yeah. Cold though, I still like as maybe as a dip to have with crisps. Really? I yeah. would go hot every time. Oh, hot every time. No, no, hot, but, but I'd love you, the to cold. To start with, you didn't think that you'd be fussed about doing the it warm, hot. Yeah, no, no, definitely, definitely hot. Yeah. But I could also enjoy the cold. Yeah, mm. I think the hot's the best though. But um, go and check out the recipe on the blog. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching and let us know if you'd like to see more videos like yeah. this. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.